I think it's time we build a theme park with absolutely no rules. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Attacking Toucans, and welcome to my next Planet Coaster series. In this series, I got a random plot of land in the middle of nowhere, in a location that has absolutely no laws. That way we don't have to worry about any building codes, we don't have to worry about things being safe. Our park inspector is actually just an anteater. <laughs> He's very experienced though. But right now our plot of land is looking pretty flat, and I like my terrain like I like my asses. Not flat. So I'm gonna go through and spend a minute doing some extreme terrain editing real fast. And this is one of my favorite things about Planet Coaster, is the terrain manipulation. You can do like anything you want. If I wanted to, I could sculpt a gigantic lobster that's the size of a mountain. Not say I'm going to, but if I wanted to, I could. <laughs> and in case you didn't know, Planet Coaster is a newer theme park simulation game that is currently available for PC, Windows only. I played on Steam and a console version is coming out for Xbox and PlayStation this holiday season for 2020. So I'm excited to see a lot of new theme park designers in the near future. All right, so we finished sculpting our theme park. Now we're gonna go through and lay a few paths down so we have like a basic path infrastructure for our guests to get around. I'm not sure where guests are gonna wanna come to a theme park with no rules, but we're about to find out what type of person that really is. But here it is the empty slate that we're about to turn into a theme park that breaks every rule in the book. Now for those of you who don't know, I've been working on this other Planet Coaster series for a few years called Let's Build the Ultimate Theme Park, which is a somewhat similar series because I'm also building a theme park that doesn't really have many rules and I have a limited money. The difference between that park and this park is we're going to be making roller coasters in this park that are 10 times more wild. We're gonna make them really tall. We're not gonna care how many G's we put our guests through. We're just making this part to make ourselves laugh a bit. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first coaster I wanna build is a launch vector coaster that launches you across this whole entire canyon that we just built. And at first, I was gonna have it start on top of this giant arch that we have since it has a nice plateau on the very top. But then I realized that we wouldn't have enough speed if we started up there. So we're gonna start a little bit further back and we're gonna have a very long hydraulic launch. And we're gonna give this coaster a lot of speed. Turn that target speed and acceleration all the way up, baby, because we're gonna need it to launch this thing. So let's put a ton of hydraulic launch pieces. We're gonna have to cut into this cliff a little bit, but we have the auto tunnel system, so that's okay. It's gonna allow us to do it real quick. And we're gonna send this thing up because it's going to go on top of the arch. I still want to have this whole arch involved because I think this arch looks cool. And if you watched the beginning of the video, you already know what this coaster is about to do. <laughs> We're about to launch it over the canyon and it's going to be epic. And this was completely unintentional, but the peak of this coaster ended up being exactly 420 feet, which is hilarious because that's a very specific number that I truly unintentionally reached. But I think it's a sign that since this park is in the middle of nowhere with no rules, it definitely has to be 420 friendly. So you're free to blaze up as much as you want at this park. <laughs> and we're going to set the trajectory of this launch track to around 40 degrees. I think that'll give us the most distance. And I think we should give it a quick test run just to see if we can make it over the full canyon. Alright, let's exit out and see how far it goes. Oh, oh, it made it! Woo! Dang, that would be the ride of a lifetime. Now real quick, I'm just going to select the very top of this hill and I'm going to smooth it out, which is going to lower it a little bit, but I'm gonna bring it back up to the height that it needs to be. And then we're gonna smooth out this ramp. And... This is how we're gonna leave it for a little bit because this looks really, really cool. <laughs> it goes over that hill so fast. I don't even wanna know how many negative Gs that card is pulling at the top of that hill right now. And this game, even though it's really fun to build coasters, in my opinion, it's just as fun to decorate your rides and make them look good. So that's something else we're gonna focus on in this park is making our ride in our park look good. Even though the coasters are going to be absolutely crazy, doesn't mean we can't put a little bit of work into the scenery. 
So let's go ahead and spend a couple minutes just sprucing this up and making it look better. So I'm going to naturalize some things by adding some more rocks to the terrain because the regular ground isn't completely flat. I'm going to add some more texture to this big arch just to make it look better. A few more rocks. And next we're going to come down to the launch section of the coaster and just make this look a lot cooler as well. Gonna throw some gigantic rocks down here. A few cacti to give this place some character. And we gotta build an entrance and exit queue for the coaster so people can line up for their death. We're just gonna zigzag it a little bit, run it down this cliff to make it look nice, like it blends into the environment. And then we'll have to get a big path to come connect it all together. And let's just take a second to marvel at this beauty. Hasta la vista! And I decided that we're gonna name this coaster the Pineapple Express. I think it's a fairly fitting name. Let's get a more cinematic angle. Whoa! Look at that sunset in the background. It's mesmerizing. But do you know what would make it better? A target! And since the weight distribution for every train is a little bit different, the train will land in a different place every single time. So when you ride this ride, you can also try to get a high score or a bullseye. I'm not really sure what these gigantic blocks are supposed to be, but it makes this whole entire situation look way more sacrificial. And I'm gonna use a paintbrush and try to paint a more distinguished looking target. And voila, we have a bullseye. And if you hit the middle, you get to take home a gigantic stuffed teddy bear, but only if you survive. So good luck on that one. Now of course we gotta add a thrill ride. What is a theme park without a thrill ride? So we're gonna build a looper. And I'm gonna make it look freaking awesome by putting it like 30 feet in the air. We're gonna make this thing stand out. And we're gonna add some decorations real fast. Let's make it look all nice, some little scenery magic. Since we're out in the middle of the desert, I decided to start off with the sci-fi scenery because I was a little bit inspired by Area 51. And we're gonna add some palm trees and beach trees. Gonna throw in some rock and some sand by painting the terrain to contour it up a little bit. We're gonna add some buildings, including some bathrooms, restaurants, souvenir stands, so we can tie everything together. One of the great things about this game is it includes a lot of pre-made blueprints of scenery pieces that you can add to your park to build it up pretty quickly. But if you want to, you can also build whatever you want one piece at a time. So you have so much control over everything that you put in your park. And scenery pieces are also allowed to overlap with one another. So when you combine them, you can really make literally whatever you want. People have done amazing things in this game. Okay, we're just taking a brief look at what we've created so far. It's looking very nice. And we're going to continue building a new coaster in just a moment. But let's see how close the terrain gets to the bullseye. Oh, so close. Moving forward, the next coaster we're going to build is a dive coaster. But not just any dive coaster it's gonna have a little bit of a twist. We're gonna circle the track pieces around and start the chain lift. And we're just gonna keep going up and up. And we're not gonna stop. Keep going a little bit further and we're good. A little bit over 800 feet. This is definitely the tallest coaster I've ever made in this game. I don't know why I've waited this long, but this is a very iconic moment for me. And this is 350 feet taller than the world's current tallest coaster, King Da Ka. But this is a video game, it's not nearly the same when it's made virtually and compared to real materials. But it's still hilarious to see because this game looks pretty realistic, it's a good looking game. And I love the biome we're in. This Red Rock Canyon looking area is absolutely beautiful. But unfortunately I don't think we'll ever see a real theme park in a location like this because it's probably way too hot. But what I decided to do is I had this coaster track do a gigantic loop around this giant arch. It's a monstrosity, but I'm in love with it. It looks so freaking cool. 
I'm not entirely sure what the g-force on this coaster is gonna be, but frankly, I don't give a damn. If you can't handle the force, then you don't deserve the force. So we have a huge airtime hill that leads to a giant half loop that goes down. And then afterwards, I put in a big pretzel knot because this coaster is already insane. Why not just put a completely unnecessary pretzel knot halfway through? And then we come back up to the top of the arch again, which is a nice little place to revisit. We're gonna slow the coaster down a little bit and then it's going to dive straight back down into the canyon. This thing does not know when to quit. So we're gonna dive straight down to rock bottom. We're gonna turn this thing mid-fall, gonna flatten it out at the very bottom of the canyon, and I'm gonna try to put a gigantic loop down here. This is what needs to eventually happen at the Grand Canyon. I know the Grand Canyon's like a nature reserve and they probably can't build one there, but someday I'm gonna become president just so I can remove that law so we can build a roller coaster in the damn Grand Canyon. Next in line is we're gonna pop back out of the canyon, we're gonna do a zero G roll, and it's gonna be very spectacular. And we're gonna start heading back to the station, but we're gonna do one final turnaround so we can cut down on the speed. And as you can see, the park is open, guests have started to flood in, and they're looking around and they're like, what the hell have I gotten myself into? <laughs> they have no clue what's going on here, and it's probably better that they don't know. Or wait, maybe it's better they do know. But if we want to enjoy their suffering, we probably shouldn't tell them. But we have finished a full circuit and our dive coaster is tremendous. We will ride both coasters at the end of the episode. But what we're going to do next is when I opened the park, I realized I couldn't open this launch coaster because the train didn't come back to the station and you have to have a full complete circuit to open it. So what I decided to do is I'm going to complete the circuit make this a finished coaster and in the next episode I'm gonna have a second launch coaster that comes from underground and launches across the canyon right in front of the other coaster to make it seem like that coaster is gonna be the one that launches off the canyon. It's gonna cost us hundreds of millions in coaster trains to pull off this stunt to make it seem like these people are gonna be thrown across the canyon to their death but it is money well spent. So I ended up having this thing do a gigantic overbank at the top of the arch and dive back down. This thing is like a crazy giga coaster at this point. And we're gonna put a ginormous airtime hill. It's gonna make you feel like a new degree of weightless. Instagram models will be touting it as their new fad diet. Next, I made a really crazy large helix that I love the look of because of these supports. They all reach in and make a smaller circle in the center. And I think it'll be going really fast through this so you might potentially black out. And then I have it come back through and circle around back towards the station. And we have a complete circuit so we can actually open the coaster now. It would have been good fun to launch the guests across the ravine, but unfortunately, the guests wouldn't get on a coaster like that. I'm going to do a few more things before we give these coasters a test ride. First is I'm going to build a station for the dive coaster. And as I'm building this, let me give you guys a comment question of the day. What is your favorite theme park and what is your favorite ride at said theme park? Leave your comments down below in the comment section, please. But yeah, this station is coming together pretty nice. I think we're starting off this episode pretty well. We terraformed the whole park, added a path system, built two roller coasters, a flat ride, got a lot of scenery in, a bunch of shops and restaurants. So I think a lot of people are gonna be wanting to come to our ruleless park in the near future, hopefully. I hope they've been going to astronaut school so they can ride in that equipment that is supposed to raise your resilience to higher levels of g-force. Gotta place yet another shopping area to ensure that everybody spends every last dollar that they have when they come to our park. As a theme park owner, it is our goal to drain the bank account of every last guest that enters. And after decorating with a few more plants, I think we're gonna go ahead and call this an episode here, but don't worry we're still gonna give a test run to our first two coasters. We have the Pineapple Express, and then also, what do you think we should name this 800 foot tall coaster? And they got rid of a few of the supports as well because there was way too many supports reaching down. We're gonna assume this coaster was made of the strongest metal an engineer could find. 
All right, time to give him a test run. Let's start with the Pineapple Express. Oh, that air time feels good. This is a really smooth overbank. And this drop right here would be phenomenal. Yeah! Oh my god, right here. We'd feel so weightless. Yeah! Don't gray out. Don't gray out. We got a lot of laterals right here. back around to the station which we still need to build that will be a project for next episode right now pineapple express is a little naked all right now let's move over to the 800 foot tall coaster this thing's looking pretty good okay we're on the chain lift let's speed things up a little bit so we don't have to wait forever <laughs> climbing a chain lift hill 800 feet it's a bit of a time consuming process the views from up here are freaking godly Oh, man, I love this environment. It's a little bit of anticipation so you can poop yourself. Whoa! Oh my god. This thing's actually pretty smooth. The G's right there would probably kill you. <laughs> Nice, nice. This part right here is ridiculous. This, this would not work, but it looks cool. All right, time to dive into the canyon. Yeet! Jeez. Let's go. Nice loop. Pop it out to this zero G roll. Could probably be tightened a little bit. Nice airtime hill over the entrance. And we have just a big oval to slow the train down a little bit. I can't wait to build more roller coasters in this park. We're gonna make them crazy, man. They're gonna be insane. But that is gonna be it for this first episode of Let's Build a Theme Park with No Rules. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up as it helps me out quite a bit and it lets YouTube know that you enjoyed this video as well. As you wait for more episodes of this series to come out, may I direct you to two other Planet Coaster series I've done. Let's build a tiny park, where I build a theme park in a really, really tiny area. Super duper cool, would definitely recommend watching it, it's a shorter series. Or if you want something longer to watch, I have Let's Build the Ultimate Theme Park, where we've been building a theme park for three years now and we're still going. Make sure to subscribe if you want to be notified when I post more videos. And make sure to remind yourself that you love yourself, because you're a great person. Thanks for watching and have a great day.